everybody this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is um, sometimes when I am working on it in brilliance there's certain boxes that pop up that when folks still first get in brilliance they don't see the same boxes and what it is is because the views are not turned on when you're using in brilliance so I wanted to do a quick video and show you guys one of the problems that one of the um, members of our Facebook group is having and I wanted to do a visual because I'm a visual learner and I'm sure that a lot of people out there probably have the same issue and I you know and it can get kind of frustrating when you don't know and this is really a great software package and I really want to show people how how user-friendly really it truly truly is okay it's just getting um used to the environment and getting to to learn the uh the software so I am going to adjust the camera just a little bit because I want you guys to get a really good view of my computer I know that it's kind of hard for you guys to probably see what I'm doing I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible and I'm even going to describe the steps that I'm doing so that way you guys can see exactly where I am clicking okay now someone asked and said how do you add text now what you would do is you're going to see this letter a right here on your bar once you click on that you're going to see the letters pop up now, what happens is when I do my videos using in Brilliance, you always see on the right-hand side, you see a box that has the properties, and it gives me the option to change the type of font that I'm using, and also the thickness of the fonts, the stitch, and so on. How do you get that box to appear on your screen, okay? So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to turn this on. So what will happen is if you go all the way up, okay and in brilliance you have your in brilliance file a utility create the one you want to focus on it's right before zoom is the one that says view so you need to click on that okay now one of the things that I always say is that it's always great to really turn on all the view features so that way you have everything accessible because sometimes you could be working on a feature and you don't really get all of it, right? So in order for you to get the little box that I have on the right-hand side of my screen, what I do is highlight manage views, okay? In here, it says there are three views that you see under here. One is called the status bar, one's a property, and one's an object view. What I do is I highlight all of them. So as you can see right there, I just highlighted object view and all I get is the object, okay? Where you can group it and, and ungroup it and lock it. But it really doesn't give me the option of changing my fonts. So when I go back up here and I click on view and manage views, here goes um, properties views. So I'm gonna click on that. There you go. In property views, I get this box where I can change the color of the font. I can change the, um, you know, I can add right here in the text. All right. And I'm going to, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger so that you can see. This is the options that you get in the properties view. Here you go. You get to pick the color of what color you want. Here's the letters. And this is where you can go in and you can type in what you wanted to say. All right, and also you can even look at the stitch and here and you can, you know, increase the, the font and all that kind of stuff, the thickness of it if you want. Okay. Um, and also you can read some notes if they have something. Now, this also provides you the opportunity for you to go ahead and select the type of font that you want. Now, if you buy BX fonts and you import them, you're going to see them part of this list, okay? But you do get some basic ones, okay? You do get some basic ones, but I like to buy my fonts. So if you want to import fonts into in Brilliance, you should always make sure that you're using, um, that you're purchasing the, the fonts that are in the BX format, and then you can just drag and drop it, and I do have a video in the channel on how to do that, okay? So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on one. And as you can see, um, the one that I clicked on was um, an inch 1.75, okay? 
Um, and here is where I can, like, if I go over to Stitch, okay, this is where I can go ahead and I can increase the um, font. So let me just scroll you back because I'm sure you didn't see when I selected the font what happened, okay? Now, there is also another feature, okay? If you go under a uh, view and uh, manage views, they have like a status bar, okay? And I click on that and um, it kind of gives you this bar right here, if I remember correctly. Let me unclick it to see if that's what happened. No, something happened. I don't know what it is, but I kind of always have them on. I know there was a change somewhere. I think there's a status bar. Maybe somewhere it's here. Um, but it's just it the change happens so quick. I really don't notice it and stuff But I'm sure that if I go to the help section of in brilliance Let me see. Maybe I can we can see what is Nope, that's not it. I don't think I clicked on it, right? Um, nope, that's services systems help sorry Should right after zoom that's where help is and it's not available. Hold on, I gotta cancel out of this, I guess. Help, there you go, help. And, oops. Okay, it popped up, gave me something else. Okay, here it is, here's my help. And I'm sure that if I go in here, what happened is it opened up uh, uh, internet and it took me over there. And I'm sure if I click status bar, it'll tell me what it is, let's see. Um, status view. Uh, let's see. Platform, the measures, I guess. Um, hold on. Manage. Views. Status bar, I think it was, if I remember correctly. And there is nothing there. That's weird. Okay, let me see. Status bar. Okay, the measures, oh, okay, the measures and the stitch count. Okay, how many stitches and the counts. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go back to Embrillus and see if that's true. Okay, now right down here is where you would see, right here on your screen, you're going to see the hoop and all that kind of stuff. How many stitches and all that kind of stuff. Let me see if I go in here. Yep, it's gone. It's gone, guys. All right, so look at that. I learned something with you guys. All right, so if you want to know how many stitches are in the design in its entirety, okay, then what you do is click on View, Manage Views, hit Status Bar, and let me zoom in so you can see what that status bar is about. See, that is what tells you about the number of stitches and your hoop size and everything. So now we know what that is. So I learned something with you guys, right? See, there you go. So anyway, guys, I wanted to do this quick video because I see that someone out there is struggling and you know, I always like to help whenever I can and I did have the time. So I'm like, let me jump in and do a quick video. Um, so guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I hope you can join me every Friday evening at 8 o'clock Standard Eastern Time for Embroidery Happy Hour. You guys have a great day. Love you guys all, and happy sewing and happy embroidery. Bye.